guys doing? Today we're going to do something a tiny bit different to the daily vlogs but because I'm doing daily videos I had to make content for you guys but I thought I would switch it up a bit so rather than doing a vlog I thought once in a while what I might do is just answer some of the sort of more popular questions that you guys comment on my Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. So I've picked out for today four questions that uh, I am going to answer. We're just going to cruise around in the Lotus and I'm going to talk you through some of the things that you guys are asking me more often rather than having to answer you all individually um, on the various social medias. So I'm just cruising with the Lotus. It's a decent day out but I've left the roof on so that I can talk to you guys more easily. We're not going to do any crazy driving or anything. It's going to be more of just a cruise and a bit of a chat. So first things first, let's go straight in there with question number one of the four that I'm going to be answering today. So the first question that you guys have been asking quite a lot is about my wrap, my Gumball wrap. So the car still has the Team Galag black chrome and matte black, um, a slight matte black sort of detailing on the top of the black chrome wrap with all of the Gumball stickers and logos and sponsors as well as sort of the Gumball numbers so my car was uh, team number 72 so I got 72 in massive gold letters on the side of my car so am I going to be keeping this well probably yeah I think it looks really cool um, I love sort of the the memories that it brings back for me as well so for now I can see myself keeping it and I've been getting really positive sort of feedback it gets lots of attention in town it makes the car very recognizable so I think that for now I don't see myself removing this wrap so I'm not gonna lie it's not the most well applied wrap in the world the question I get asked quite a bit is what I'm thinking in terms of travels I've got like a family holiday um, later on during the summer but for now I reckon I'm just gonna stay here in Monaco save up some cash be able to just enjoy myself and probably not going to do Pebble Beach this year um, I have done it the last two years but can't really justify it this year I do love hearing from you guys if you have ideas for travels or places I could go so that's the plan in terms of traveling not a huge amount that's gonna happen there something else I get asked actually a surprising amount is how YouTube works and my bloody memory card ran out so great organization on my behalf there I don't know this one's running out too it just cut on me but uh, I think I was talking about YouTube earnings and so how you can earn from the ads that get placed on your videos so obviously the more um, views you have the more you earn there's that that's one side of how you earn money through YouTube so if we're talking about a business and how YouTube could work, um, there's that, but then there's also ads. So you may see on Instagram or on YouTube, once in a while, there'll be brand promotion, sort of, will be promoting a certain product, and um, that is something that some people always sort of pick up on, and good for you if you manage to pick up on it, and also some people complain about, but it's something that we have to do because this is our job, you know, this is how we make a living, and if a brand comes up to you with a big cash offer for, you know, not sort of that in your face advertising, then we'll always go for it. Obviously, I try to choose brands that I actually genuinely like, so I don't feel like I'm bullshitting you guys saying, go buy this product, it's great if it's not. So I only pick things that I really truly believe are good and are worth promoting. Um, but that is one side of it, so when you do see an Instagram post or Twitter or Snapchat or whatever, that is advertisement, just keep in mind that this is also how we, uh, we make a living. And also keep in mind that I, I, I do believe what I'm saying about that product. So that is another side of how you make money through YouTube. And then another thing you get through YouTube is you get a lot of freebies. So a lot of the events or trips that we go on um, don't actually cost us half as much as what you guys think they might. So we'll get sort of sponsored to do things and uh, stuff like that. So that helps a lot with the whole lifestyle and having this sort of really exclusive lifestyle that you guys like to watch without it necessarily costing an absolute fortune. So that's how YouTube also somewhat works as a business. And then there are other things that can go with it. Like I was saying, if I start a clothing line or things like that, and you can sort of start other projects through the following you have on YouTube. So that's another interesting side 
of YouTube. Um, yeah, obviously, you do have some YouTubers who make way, way, way more money than I do, like not even comparable. Um, I'm still a relatively small channel. Um, but I do want to thank all of you for watching. Like, honestly, if you like a video, comment on a video, watch it, share it, all of that genuinely helps me to bring you more cool content. So the more you guys watch, the more you guys sort of engage with what I'm doing, it will allow me to sort of bring you more cool content. So that's one thing I just wanted to share with you guys to keep that in mind. And also just thank you for everything you've done. And now hopefully you know a bit more of uh, how these videos kind of work as a, uh, as a business. Last but not least, you guys keep asking if I'm going to modify this car anymore. So the answer to that basically, I think for now in my mind is no, because I re what I really like about this car, I mean, I love power, but what I really loved about this is being able to sort of learn how to manage this car because it's not hugely powerful. I can really like push this car quite hard and feel like I'm really getting the most out of it. Um, which is kind of quite a satisfying feeling. So I don't think I'm gonna add like a turbocharger or anything like that because I don't know enough about modifications and what I should do yet to really be able to do that properly. Um, so there's that, but then there's also the fact that I'm very happy with how this car is now. The exhaust was something I needed to do because it just didn't sound good enough to start and now it sounds unbelievable. bunch of things I wanted to sort of answer to you guys that you all ask and obviously it's too much to answer you all one by one so yeah thank you so much obviously for all the support you've been showing like on I can't believe that, like in October I was barely at 10,000 subscribers and now we're over 105,000 I think it is so it's pretty incredible um, so the support you've shown over the last few months really um, and I really do appreciate it and I love 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 doing YouTube for you guys. I love making videos. I love the experiences it brings and the people I can meet. It's absolutely fantastic, which is why I want to start daily vlogging for a bit because it's just taking it to the next extreme. So I hope you're enjoying the daily vlogs as well. Um, yeah, and uh, I hope you like this sort of honest me just answering you completely honestly on the questions you ask me. So I'll be doing more of these. So if you have any more questions you would like me to answer, please comment them down below and i will see you guys for another vlog tomorrow which is going to include quite a few supercars exciting times ahead thanks for watching guys and as per usual if you aren't already please remember to subscribe and i'll see you soon cheers bye and first things first on a yacht like this you, when you go inside you take your shoes off so let's do that straight away this is like a little living room loungy area isn't it dear? where you can just chill, have your breakfast, have your cheeky dinner, do what you gotta do. Anyways, I'm gonna take my shoes off. This is madness, by the way. 
like these boats you don't realize how insane they are but they're like mansions they're like mansions on the sea aren't yeah. they? it's a bit so. messy messy though because it can like share like the oh no worries no worries it's still pretty impressive so this is like the main 